morning guys day six We've got a brand new monday and today is pajama day hopefully you saw the announcement i put out last week and you've seen it on social media but we are doing a digital spirit week this week so what that means is dress up for each day make sure you take pictures of yourself and post it to whatever social media you use and use the hashtag let's see i want to make sure i get it right um hashtag oms spirit 20 okay so make sure you use that hashtag as somebody who's in charge of your book i really hope you guys use those hashtags so that way i can see your pictures because i'm going to have a few more pages to fill in the yearbook without school going on and so i was hoping to get some of these spirit days in there so take some cool pictures of you doing your work Lounging at home. Today is pajamas, so I'm rocking my chewy onesie. I'm not going to get up because ugh, onesies are not very flattering, if you ask me. My dog Tucker's staring at me. He agrees. All right, Tucker. Right. All right. So to our weekly announcements. Hopefully you have seen the email that got sent out by the middle school. Uh, I believe it was sent out to parents, possibly to you guys too. I'm honestly not sure. And it has a big long list of what each grade level should do each day of the week. So, hi Tucker, yes, hello, hello. Do you wanna say hi? Come here, come here, Ugh. Ugh. come here. <laughs> he does not wanna say hi. Oh, come here, hey, hey, come here. No, okay, well, I tried guys, <laughs> sorry. He does not like to jump on laps. Let's see if I can angle it. Hey, Tucker, say hi to everybody. Say hi, oh, hi Tucker, you good boy. Yeah? Oh, and the burps. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> okay, anyways, back to our previously scheduled announcements. Um, the thing that got sent out, each teacher wrote in some stuff of what you should potentially be doing for the whole week. It's split up by grade level and by subject. I know the paper seems like a lot at first, but teachers are really just trying to help give you and parents an idea of what you should be doing. Now, none of this is required, it is not being graded, but we really, really advise that you do some of it, if not all of it. You need to take charge of your education in this time of craziness and do what's gonna help you the most. Do a little bit of something for each class, okay? So on that sheet, I talked about how I'm gonna start doing some week-long projects and short daily ones plus an artist of the week Wednesdays. Ugh, this hood's driving me nuts. So what that means is each week you're gonna get a choice. You can either do one week long project that lasts the entire week and you take a picture on Friday and post it, or you do one short day long project each day. So that way we get you to do more smaller things. Now, it could really change by week by week. Maybe you really like this week's long project, but next week's you're not feeling it, so you do a bunch of small ones instead. Totally up to you. The week-long projects have a lot more information with them. Uh, this week's is a tessellation drawing. So I literally have eight videos up. Uh, let's see, we've got nine handouts, <laughs> plus something you could print. There's a lot of information. There's lots of different ways you can do it. So it does take the full week to do and do well. It's not something you can bust out in a day. The whole point is trying to get you guys to make bigger, more grander pieces of art instead of just small little simple things. I will continue to post at least one small project a day. So that way you have lots of options. Those ones you can do in whatever order you want. Just make sure that by Friday, I'd like to see you guys posting pictures of what you've made. Please, I'm doing all this work. I want to see what you guys are making from it. So be sure to take a picture, post it onto Google Classroom as soon as you get it done or by Friday each week. There's also the doodle of the days and pictures of the days, photo of the day for my photo class that have been updated for week two. So make sure you're taking 10, 15 minutes to work on those each day. Think of those as like our entry test, a way for you to really just get into art, get into the right frame of mind and to be creative. You can take the pictures of each piece each day and post them one at a time or do it all together on Friday. That works fine too. But again, I'd like to see what you guys are doing. Please take pictures and post them. I am here to help. I can give you advice. I can give you compliments, make you feel good. 
I want to see what you're doing. Uh, every Wednesday, I'm going to post a new Artist of the Week video. So for Artist of the Week, I ask that you watch the video and then add a comment to it. Tell me your thoughts, your opinions. I want to have a bit of a discussion about the artist. The more we can talk, the better it's going to be. So you'll see those posted every Wednesday morning. And the last thing I wanted to mention was doing a uh, office hours, for lack of better words. Office hours is something you'll hear probably from a lot of teachers now. Normally you wouldn't hear about it until college. Office hours is when teachers, or professors in that case, they will be in their office guaranteed so students can stop by and ask questions. So this will be a time of day where I'm going to create a Google Meet. So Google Meet is, it's like Skype, but you can do it as a conference call so you can get lots of people into the videos or into the message. So I will send out a different code each day. So if you want to come into the Google Meet to ask me questions, to get advice, to just say hi, I'll be there to help. I'm going to hold my office hours, so I'll have the Google Meet up from, I think we'll go, hmm, I think we'll go from one to two each day. So at one o'clock, I'll open it up and it'll be up until two. So you can stop by, ask questions. If nobody's there, I'll just sit here and work on my art, whatever. But I will have office hours available if you want to stop by and say hi or ask questions. I'll send that link out to everybody on Google Classroom as soon as I figure out how to do it. <laughs> My guess is an hour is probably a bit long, um, so I might end up shortening it down. You know what? First day, let's shorten it up a little bit. Scratch what I said earlier. Let's go from 1 to 1.30, okay? 1 to 1.30. Let's just start with a half hour. Uh, I will send that out for everybody. I hope to see you. Stop by, say hi. For those of you who stopped by and said hi during my Instagram Live on Friday, I appreciated reading from you, not seeing from you or hearing from you, but still getting to talk to some of you guys was nice. Hearing about what you guys have been doing was really entertaining. So stop by, say hi. The social interaction is always a great thing. So I hope you got lots of information today. Check out the new doodle prompts. Check out the new week-long project and start deciding what are you going to do. Five projects for the week or one big long one. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow and hope to see some of you guys from 1 to 1.30 in the Google Meet for my office hours. Bye, guys.